Hey guys, we will take a sneak peek at the best 2-in-1 laptop in 2021. So if you're planning to buy one, then you are in the right place. Please do check out the description below to see all the featured products and their buy links. The Dell Inspiron 137000 2-in-1 is one of the best 2-in-1 laptops in the market. This premium laptop is more than just about its premium design. It also has high-end internals to compete with the more powerful Dell XPS 13. Rounding that out is a 4K display and a clever stylus slot that makes us wonder whether they beat Microsoft to the idea. Granted, the display is a bit of a battery drain, and the speaker is impressive. The 2-in-1 form factor often comes with a trade-off in weight and thickness, which shows up here. The Dell Inspiron 137000 2-in-1 measures 0.63 inches at its thickest point and weighs 3.1 pounds. The display helps make up the speakers somewhat. It's impressively clear at 4K, though it could stand to be brighter. Playing a Blu-ray copy of Guardians of the Galaxy, the visuals look excellent on this display. It holds up for video consumption. I do not notice a quirk when running into high contrast situations. As for the keyboard, the keys could benefit from some contour, but otherwise feel good and poppy to type on. Regarding its performance, the Dell XPS 7000 has an Intel Core i7-8565U processor and integrated graphics on offer, but is perfectly sufficient for the type of work it's expected to handle. The processor zips through simple tasks, booting, and the program launches quickly. I've never touched a consumer laptop as gorgeous as the Spectre X360. The new Spectre's sturdy black body, lustrous accents, and boldly sharp edges would make it a standout among convertible laptops across the board. The touchpad has two-finger scrolling. My old laptop didn't have this feature, and the touchpad was almost unusable. But this touchpad is reactive and quickly and smoothly responds to any input. The touchpad settings are also very customizable. I was unsure whether I'd like or use the fingerprint reader, but I have it enabled, and it recognizes me maybe 80% of the time. It has seemed to improve since I first turned on the feature. The keys glide smoothly and are perfect in their placement. It does come with a stylus. I have only used it once when I set up the laptop to play with it. Seems pretty cool. I can see how some people might like it for taking notes or drawing. The pen itself is weighty like a fountain pen and seems very responsive. The HP Spectre has a 400 nit screen with an Intel Core i5, 1135G7, 8GB of memory, and 256GB of storage. The Spectre is verified through Intel's Evo platform, which means that it offers several Intel selective benefits, including Thunderbolt 4, Wi-Fi 6, all-day battery life, quick boot time, fast charging, and reliable performance. The Lenovo Yoga 9i is one of the best 2-in-1 laptops in the market. It offers the latest 11th gen core i7 processor, keeping it in line with the competition. Plus, you get to mention the added stylus makes navigating on the tablet portion much more accessible and even more enjoyable. What's not to love when you have one of the best 2-in-1 laptops with good battery life, a colorful display, a fantastic rotating speaker, and fast performance. The laptop's interior keeps with the same sleek design as the outside, with some noticeable differences. The thinner they are, the more minor ports they pack. The Yoga 9i has a total of four ports, and one of them includes the charging port. You get a fingerprint sensor on the deck, right below the bottom right corner of the keyboard. The Yoga 9i has a stunning 14-inch 1080p display that fooled me into thinking it was 4K at first. While watching the trailer for Raya, the colors were vibrant and beautiful. The 4.1 by 2.7-inch touchpad has a silky smooth feeling to the touch, which differs from the laptop's palm rest. The touchpad proved reliable when swiping and clicking, and work well with Windows 10 gestures like two-finger scrolling. Samsung Galaxy Book Pro is a fast and versatile Windows 10 laptop that has a gorgeous-looking OLED screen. The body of the Pro 360 has lost a little of its visual flourish of the Flex, but the new machine makes up for it with an upgraded OLED screen instead of the LCD technology familiar to most laptops. This gives it vastly improved contrast, inky blacks, and vibrance. The 13.3 screen looks great, but it's only Full HD resolution, making it slightly less crisp than rivals with higher resolution displays. It also has a traditional widescreen ratio, making it fantastic for TVs and movies. The large, smooth, and precise trackpad is good, and the keyboard has been improved with well-spaced and responsive keys. The Galaxy Book Pro versions come with the same 11th generation Intel Core i5 processor, 8GB of RAM, and 512GB of storage except for the 4G model with a 256GB SSD. 
Battery life was slightly above average for Intel-based PCs, lasting just under 9 hours of work between charges. The HP Envy X36 Convertible 15-inch is an ultra-thin slab of stylish all-metal goodness that's highly portable with spry performance that I've grown familiar with. The AMD Ryzen Power Convertible is similar to previous models, but improved performance thanks to the upgraded AMD Ryzen 7 5700U processor and Radon graphics. The ultra-thin charcoal gray slate styling of the HP Envy X360 is one of my favorites. When opening the Envy, the hinges provide firm resistance, an excellent sign of solid constructed hinges, which you want in a 2-in-1. Opening the lid allows your eyes to meet the lovely black lit glowing keyboard. On either side of the keyboard are excellent tuned speakers, and beneath the keyboard is an amply sized touchpad. The fingerprint reader is to the right of the Alt key. HP Envy X360 offers security and privacy features, starting with Windows Hello's facial recognition in conjunction with the IR webcam and proximity sensor to lock unwanted individuals and wake up when the user returns. The keyboard is a joy to type on, even with my giant Shrek-like hands. The battery lasted for 11 hours and 23 minutes during the laptop mag battery test, which consists of continuous web surfing over Wi-Fi at 150 nits of brightness. That time is above the 1017 premium laptop average. The Microsoft Surface Pro 7 improves on one of the best 2-in-1 laptops around with strong 10th gen Intel performance and a long overdue USB-C port. The Surface Pro 7's sharp display, ample power, and excellent optional type cover keyboard make it one of the best laptops you can buy if you want a detachable. The Microsoft Surface Pro 7 is a somewhat chunky tablet that can transform into a laptop thanks to its rear-facing kickstand and optional signature type cover keypad. I didn't have too much trouble using the Pro 7 in laptop mode on my lap, though the top heaviness does make it a bit shaky. Still, the latest Surface Pro makes for a solid road warrior at just 0.3 inches thin and 1.7 pounds. It's slightly thicker and heavier when it's compared with iPad Pro. Surface Pro 7 finally gets points for including a USB-C port. Aside from USB-C, you can get a USB-A port, a headphone jack, a micro SD card slot, and a Surface Connect port for juicing up. Isn't she a beauty? I found the type covers key a joy to type on, and it feels good when you type on this keyboard. Talking about the battery life, Microsoft's 2-in-1 endured through 7 hours and 52 minutes of Wi-Fi web surfing on our battery test, which is pretty good. Regarding their performance, Microsoft Surface Pro 7 has an Intel Core i5 1035G4 CPU, a mouthful of a number to let you know this is 10th gen and 8GB of RAM. Our Surface Pro 7 handled my usual multitasking crunch without a sweat. Alright amigos, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and like it. And if you are new to this channel, and if you like it, consider subscribing. We do our best to keep you people updated. Be sure to check out the description link of the products we mentioned in this video. And let us know in the comments section which 2-in-1 laptop is your choice to buy. Thank you.